no mom wants to be attacked on their, their child. I wasn't attacking you when well, you were Well, at the time, that's how I took it. That's I would never leave my, my daughter unattended. We were at a christening. We were at my brother's christening. Nobody's she gonna... Nobody, I didn't say that you said, left your no, children no, unattended. No, if she was a good cousin, she wouldn't have said that to me. Oh my God. I don't like that she said it's that. It's all about me being a bad cousin. She's a bad wife. I'm a bad cousin. She's a bad person. She took your child out of danger. Yes. She's a good cousin because she did what I would want somebody to do. Okay, when the tough got going, you ran away. Can I just back up? I'm just trying to understand. What? What? Hold on, hold on. Hold insane. My daughter was out of danger. She was on the side. No, she wasn't. Yes, she, she was, was. alone. Insane. It's okay if she was. All of our children there. were in danger that I day. I wheeled her off and gave her to Maria, if I remember okay. correctly. So if and you, you had did, your... I, didn't, I didn't see that. I'm telling you. She was. If, if my children were, me, were even in danger. Her. Thank you. That's all. Thank, Thank you. Teresa. You it's shouldn't be night. so defensive because I'm you know what? Defensive. You should be a little bit more secure. I You're am a great secure. Mother. I know I'm a great then mother. Then why did you flip but out like that? Because you were trying to. You, you know, were trying to not. stick a dick to me. You are taking the words that are I'm coming out of my mouth, and you're hearing one thing, and you're playing it over and over in your head. Don't be so defensive. Not um, everything is uh, meant Hello, I'm being attacked by three of you. You're not because being attacked. Because you're not owning up to it. when you say that. Really no, being I You're not I being attacked. Up to it, but if I took it offensively, I'm not going to... I'm owning it. I took it offensively. Does hearing her explain all that make you yes, understand where she was it. coming from? Now I'm you're fine, fine with it. it. But you still wrote a blog last week attacking my character after we made up and said that you wanted to be sisters again. You said she's sneaky and you manipulative. Are. I see. I'm now, sneaky now and that, manipulative. Now, I, no. If you really wanted to be back to the way we used to be, but you didn't need to attack my character. Teresa, in your blog you wrote, I was devastated that Melissa and my brother Joey left our house in the middle of Christmas Eve and went to Kathy's. Kathy, do you feel like you did something wrong by inviting no. them to your house? You know they spend Christmas Eve with me all the time. But this year was different. You were having problems. This was the first year I did not spend Christmas can with I, my can brother. Can I just say something? The first that year. particular blog made me so sick to my stomach. You called me evil? Year. I mean, if I heard Come you on. say how brokenhearted Antonia was and how she was, she was. you and your... She started crying. We came to your house and spent three hours. Three hours? One hour? No, we were there for yeah, three hours. Okay, three hours. hours. Why couldn't you appreciate the hour and say baby steps were building on we something? We did. So and can I say that? Like, hour and turn it around. I don't know around. how you are with your brothers and sisters. This was the first year I wasn't with my brother. But there was a reason. And I'm always with my brother. But there was brother. a reason you weren't yeah, with him. I was mad at her. Okay, another thing. You did... Because okay. I felt like if we're you were a good on. cousin, we I know, I'm a bad said, cousin because yes. I invited your brother yes. to Christmas Eve. Yes. 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 I did. Even your mom okay. should have said, so, I did. We what, did. Why are you, you shouldn't be why here. You should here? be with your mother and father. Right. I did. God forbid something here. happens next year. God I forbid. Did. Please, right. God. Right. And this, and he didn't spend Christmas Eve with my parents. He did. We always spent it together. We had We were together. You were. You took together. hour and ruined it. No. Yes, you did. You had an hour with your family. Instead of being if grateful, that's how you, you ruin your it. family. You tie it into a problem. I love to spend the whole night it's together. It's not about you. It's, it's about, about the family. It's parents. about the children. It was together. My be parents. grateful for that hour. Yeah. Don't turn maybe, it into a problem. Maybe that's what you want. An hour is good enough for you it and your is. family. I'll take a no. second with my I, family. I want it the whole night. Well, no, you're no, selfish. No, no. I'm not selfish. Yes, you it, are. My, it's not about your family. It's about you and only you. This Stay is right. ridiculous. I, I was very <laughs> devastated. Everybody, Therese is devastated. She's hurt. We're attacking her. Let's go home. It was a, it was a big deal for me. I know, no, I understand. Apparently. Very um, big deal. Devastated. I was, and if you were, apparently. maybe that's why you don't give a sh You know what you said too when you got to her house? Now I feel like Yeah, it's because the somebody way was calling me a raccoon face behind my back. You know, uh, there must have been a reason I felt that way. He wasn't calling you a raccoon face. He was talking, he was talking about Kathy. Teresa, stop it. I he swear on my wasn't even in the house. Oh my God. Okay, no. wait a minute. So okay. it makes it better that he was right. talking about me. Take it, raccoon. I'll take it, raccoon oh, face. Oh, you, uh, fat. Yes. What else is he going to call me? Teresa. What else is Joe Teresa. Teresa. Yes, baby. Okay. Seems like just from watching the season and from watching everything that we've been through tonight, that you have such a firm stance in your point of view that it's hard for you to hear people sometimes. Things have been explained to you 
over and over, and I feel like you are dug into your point of view. It's like well, a, about it's like Adriana, an, I was okay. Now that we have discussed the Adriana situation, you said thank you. I appreciate that. You know, but the embarrassment and the humiliation that you caused me that night at the Brownstone, and all the bloggers and all the crap that's been set out. That that wasn't the time to talk why, about it. Why have that you been was embarrassed? Not the time. Because you people are saying I threw a dig. Me? I wasn't throwing if a dig. If you wanted at to talk to me, you should have called me on the phone or came to my house. Why are you going to take it out in a public place? She took you in a private room, and my oh, first impression. Oh, of Kathy. Yeah, because she saw the, the very video first that moment. We just got over the Chris thing. That was not the time okay, or place. Okay, and that's what I time said to her that night. Time heals all wounds. Teresa, we can't even time, have a conversation sitting next time. to us. How did you think a phone call over the phone time. was going to do? It would have Does anybody well. understand no, it's okay to be wrong sometimes? Private. Not everyone's yeah, always no, right. All right. We time. were. Okay, it I just wanna... happened. Time heals all wounds. Okay, I want to move on. Where do the two of you go from here? Are you in a good place? Yeah, we, we you know, we were. Kathy, are you in a good place? Yes. Good. No, but yes, okay. Mm -hmm. Well, this is what happens. This is what happens on the reunion. It digs up everything. Because we want to resolve it. You want to not because we want to I'm keep fine. dwelling on it. I'm not so oh, you are? Are you cuckoo? Okay. Cool? You're actually. okay with it because you're the one that threw the rock, hit me, and then, okay, sorry, I didn't mean it, but you still hit, the, hit me with the rock. I'm not saying sorry. I said I did take it that way. But if you're saying right now, sitting next to me and saying I didn't mean that, okay, that's fine. I, I understand what you're saying right now. Okay. I don't know if you two are ever going to agree on this one. But, you know, obviously we have a mega family dynamic that's played out this season. Teresa, you wrote in your blog, I'm glad everyone can see how transparent Melissa really is. She broke our family up and she wants it to stay broken for her own gain. How do you respond to that? I was extremely mad because she tried to blame everything that is wrong in the Gorga family on me when I have had zero to do with it. And I felt that she constantly said, well, when you got married, it was not when he got married. And no, when that... you got married, everything was great. It happened afterwards. What would I gain by your family being broken up? I don't know. I have no idea. Do I, I don't know. Do you honestly feel I would want your family broken up? I, well, you never did anything to make it better. 